Okay guys, this here in Lexington is Calumet Farms. What horse is from here? Uh, Burbonix was born here. Burbonix, a horse that everybody's loving, is he was born here. Everybody knows it. Everyone know that is around horse racing, especially in Lexington. And Johnny Depp used knows. to own the farm next door. Yeah, to Johnny it. Depp used to own this farm that we're going to show you here in just a second. But that He's is. Yep, this Johnny is, is this is where a lot of thoroughbreds are born and raised and trained. Right here at Calumet. Right here at Calumet. It's right up the street from the castle. Yeah, and it's X from the castle. See, there's you a couple of horses right now. I'm going to bet on that little bastard. As long as he don't have a number 22, That's I'm betting on that son of a bitch. That was a mama horse. I'm betting on that. I ain't going to call her a bitch. <laughs> I don't know her yet. That's where they put the mares. Yep. Yeah, it goes on for miles, guys. And this is only one road. It goes on another road back, back, back as far as you can see. I mean, just miles and miles and miles. It is and then look at this sign. Coming up. Oh, I missed a sign. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See you in a bit. A lot of you all probably don't know, but in Lexington, we have a castle. For sales, actually. Yeah, it's, it, it's, well, it's for sales. But we have a castle, and uh, it's got a great little story behind it. Okay, we pulled over just so you can see this castle better. This is insane. Okay, and i tell you the little bitty tiny... Ridiculous story. You're going to. to well, it's okay. I'll be past the trees in just a second. So, okay. this guy um, got married, fell in love. His wife wanted a castle. He built her a castle and he never finished it because she left him. They got divorced and it said empty our entire Sorry. lives. It was sold in 2017 and they, for $8.7 million, they did a $2 million renovation. It's now a hotel. So, you can have weddings there. You can stay there in the turret rooms and everything. It's really super cool. You can have brunch there. You can have yoga up on top. Fancy, fancy. Hey, you see the top of that, uh, what is that little castle? What is that? What's that called? This is the tower. The, tower. the tower. The tower. Okay, that is where I'm going to take Stanky, and I'm going to throw his little <laughs> punk ass all the way down, and hopefully he doesn't come back. Kentucky Blue Neck with you. Isn't this just a beautiful thing, guys? Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? I love horse racing. I am so happy this is on time, at least not in September, for the Derby. All right, guys. Okay, guys. My betting is done. I can't... These are... I got I got so many bets, it's ridiculous. But I can't tell you all the bets and how much I spent because Ann... I haven't even told Ann yet. And she's going to lose her shit <clears throat> when I she finds out. Numbers and horses. I don't yeah, I mean, a lot of them was for Ann, so don't get me wrong. But the bets are in. And so... Let's try to win some money, and I want to have. I tell you what, if I win a lot of money, we're gonna have one hell of a lottery session. I think I only bet on six. You bet on seven different horses. Well, one's for your grandmother. I always. Oh, okay, yeah, you know, you want to count that one? You bet on eight different horses. <laughs> I love All right, them. so guys, wish us luck. We are gonna go home and watch the Derby, and hopefully win a bunch of money. Yell and scream the whole time it's on. Yeah, yeah, yell and scream. You'll have to know. Yeah, but guys, thank you all. You all have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed our little tour of Lexington, Kentucky.